Hey, how you doing? This is Shoei. This is Doug. We're CSR Collectibles. In this video, we're going to be testing different markers on different surfaces of stuff that we get signed. Pop figures, uh, photos. We're going to show you the difference of how a blue deco looks versus a blue molotov or a blue sharpie. And how it looks great on this photo, but it wipes off of this type of photo and this pop and all the above. Yes, so going back to what he's saying. So we're going to show you the effects of these uh, markers, and it's all about preference. If you like this certain blue, if you like this certain red, if you like this certain silver, again, it's about your preference. We know a lot of people don't have time to sit there and do the research and burn out items and stuff like that. So we've used some of our items to test this stuff out to show you in a video so that you don't have to individually test it out to see what works with what. So with this research, when we do our signings, we kind of know what marker we feel looks best, and that's what we go for as far as brand-wise. You know, of course, we let you choose the marker you want on your items when you do our pre-sales um, for our signings, but as far as the actual brand and stuff, that's where we use our expertise and our research. And we're going to go ahead and Schwabe's going to write out the different brands and show you what works on what product. So as you can see, he's going to do the blue Sharpie, which is the regular Sharpie marker, He's doing the blue deco and then the blue molotov. Um, we'll give those a couple minutes to dry and we'll come back and see how they look when they dry. As you can see, after this drying, the Sharpie looks fine, um, in my opinion. The blue deco looks good, in my opinion. The blue molotov, I don't love on this particular item. So if, if my preference in a light situation, if the photo background was light, I would go blue Sharpie. If it was uh, darker, I would go with the blue deco paint. Now we're gonna go on the same photo, we're gonna try red Sharpie paint, not regular Sharpie. Red Sharpie paint, red deco paint, and red Molotov paint. As you can see, they all look a little bit different. We're gonna let them dry for a couple minutes. All right, we're back. As you can see, my personal opinion, I gotta go with the red Sharpie paint on this one. The deco looks a little too pink for me, and the uh, Molotov is blotchy. Uh, I don't know, something about it I don't love. But when you first, when he first wrote it, I thought the Molotov looked the best. But after drying, I gotta go with the red Sharpie paint oil base. This is an oil based marker. They make a water base, but this is an oil based red Sharpie paint. And then last on this same photo, in the dark spot, we're gonna try the silvers. We have a regular silver Sharpie, we have a silver deco paint, and then we have a liquid chrome, which is made by Molotov. Um, it's, a, it's like a $12 marker. Um, we're going to try those out, see how they dry, then we're going to come back. As you can see, after drying, i got to go with the silver deco. I think it looks the cleanest, the, it pops the most. Uh, I'm never a big fan of silver Sharpies, they're too inconsistent. Sometimes they look okay. Other times they don't work, um, and once they don't work, they're hard to bring back. Um, the liquid chrome is a tricky one. At first glance, it doesn't look that good on the camera, but if you look at it in the right light, as you see it moving it now, you can kind of, it has a really cool effect to it. Again, the safest thing I would go with is a silver deco. Um, it's just the most consistent, and you don't want to play around on you know, your precious pieces. Now he's going to do the a Funko Pop, the window of a Funko Pop, plastic piece, whatever you want to call it. Um, because it's a different surface, it being plastic versus signing a photo, it actually, the markers, same markers come out a little bit different. Um, we'll go through the blues again. Uh, regular blue Sharpie, um, blue Deco, and then blue Molotov. As you can see, he's signing them now. We'll let him dry for two minutes. We'll come back, and then we'll look at them. Now that we're back, we don't recommend getting regular Sharpie on Funko Pop windows. It just doesn't pop as much as the decos do. Um, this particular example, we like how the blue deco looks the best. Again, most consistent. I like the color of the blue. The Molotov's not bad, but definitely de blue deco would be our choice on this one. Same pop, we'll go to the Sharpie. It'll be a red Sharpie oil-based paint pen. 
be a red deco paint pen and a red Molotov paint pen. After letting them dry, I gotta go with a um, red Sharpie oil base paint pen would look the best on this out of the three. The deco's a little too pink and the Molotov is a little blotchy. I don't like the way it dried, but it's not terrible, but I would definitely go Sharpie red oil based paint pen for this one. And then uh, last but not least on the same pot on the side he'll try the silver sharpie, silver deco paint pen, and um, liquid chrome by Molotov. After drying for a couple minutes you see the results. The silver sharpie doesn't look great. The silver deco doesn't really look that great either because uh, silver really has to have a dark background in my opinion to pop the way it should. The liquid chrome probably looks the best on here, but again, it's got to be seen in the right light. I would stay away from silver altogether on Funko Pop windows as a personal preference. I'd go with um, you know, the previous paint pen colors that we showed, depending on the pop. Uh, we have two similar photos side by side. One's a regular wet lab photo, you know, a regular professional printed photo. The other one's an inkjet photo. Um, at glance, maybe on camera, they look very similar. Um, if somebody sent me a picture of one, I wouldn't be able to tell by the picture which what. When I feel it, you can definitely feel the difference. Um, it's hard to explain how, how the inkjet feels versus the other one, but the inkjet is printed on like a home computer type inkjet ribbon printer that goes back and forth. The wet lab is actually like printed with they call it a wet lab because it's chemicals. So the inkjet looks okay at first glance, but the markers don't always stay to them. And they definitely, they're definitely not recommended by us. If somebody does send one in, we, we don't really want to get it signed because too many things can happen, too many things can go wrong. So we kind of stay away from the inkjet type photos and we're going to show you why. So, Shuaib's going to go ahead and sign the wet lab photo first with the different markers. And we're going to let it dry. And then he's going to go ahead and sign the inkjet with the same markers. And we're going to let it dry. You got the Sharpie. You got the Deco blue paint pen. And then you got the Molotov paint pen. The Sharpie's a regular Sharpie that we're using here. It's not a paint pen. Let it dry and we'll come back to it. As you can see, the regular Sharpie the Deco paint pen and the Molotov paint pen on the wet lab photo, once they're dry, they're fine. Um, they're not going to wipe off. You're not going to have to worry about anything. So as you can see on the inkjet photo, when he wiped the Sharpie, the regular Sharpie was fine. But as he wiped the Deco paint pen, the surface came off of it. That's a major problem. As he wiped the Molotov, it stayed on. Why the Molotov stayed on versus the Deco? To be honest with you, I don't know, but we're not into the guessing games here. That's why we don't like to mess with the inkjet papers or, or posters. Um, and you might be looking at it like, dude, why would you wipe it off? You wouldn't wipe it off, but you'd put it in a top loader, you'd put it in a sleeve, you'd stack it, something would, you would transport it from here to there, um, and anything touching it is gonna potentially wipe it off. I put one in a top loader before when I didn't know about this, and when I went to pull it out, I, I waited an hour to put it in the top loader. I put it in the top loader, I pull it out an hour later, and the thing still just wiped right off on the top loader itself because of the it touching it just like if you were to rub it. So that's why we stay away from the inkjet altogether. It's just too unpredictable. You can go blue or black Sharpie regular, not paint pen. You can go regular blue or black Sharpie on it, and it does work. I will say that, and I've tested that, but any dark, ink jets, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with them. So last, we have this big poster that a client sent to us that came in damaged. Um, instead of throwing it out, we used it to test. Again, we're always doing research here. We want to make sure we bring the best quality products to you guys. So with it being inkjet and dark, we tested the, we're going to have Shuaib test the blue deco and blue deco paint and silver deco paint. They actually just dried. Um, it's been a couple minutes. And let's 
let's wipe them as if we would be rolling it up or anything that it would come into contact with. So the blue deco somehow, some way, did not wipe off this time as it did on the 8x10. But well, here we go with the silver deco. Wipes right off. It doesn't make any sense. Too unpredictable for us to take. When you send in an item like this and it messes up on the spot, we have no way to replace it. But if you pre-order an item off our site, we have backups and stuff. So if there was, oh, if there was a chance that, hey, this particular poster that we had 100 of messed up, we just go and get one of the other ones and have it redone right then and there. But if your item was to mess up due to a marker or something like that, there's nothing we can do with it. So that's kind of the tricky part of like the send in items. That's why we're so particular. Of, we want to see what you're sending before you send it. And then sometimes we can't even judge when you send us a picture of this, it just looks like a regular poster. But this was actually an inkjet reprint poster from Amazon or eBay. And the, the seller is not going to specify that because to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with it except for when you go to get it signed. The look of it is fine. It looks great. But when you go to get it signed, it's just, it's not gonna work. So we just wanted to show you guys um, the, the kind of research that we do here. And we do this with other items too. Uh, we don't wanna drag the video out too long, but I mean, knives, um, <laughs> mask, mask. Oh, there's just so many different items that you try a paint pen on or you try a regular Sharpie and what you think you're getting and what you get are two different results. And, you know, this is just some of the examples here. So um, hopefully this will help you in the future, even if you go to a con and you're not sending it to us, you kind of know what to get used now. You know, oh, I'm just gonna go to the con and whatever they're using at their table, I'll just use. Well, a lot of the time, even the signer hasn't done this research because he's just signing the thing. So kind of that's what we're here to help. And you know we're always available. Any questions you guys have, we try to answer them as fast as possible. Um, you're welcome to message us on our website, Facebook Messenger, email. I mean, we'll get back in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, we pride ourselves on being transparent. You know, so we appreciate everybody's support. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to our video. Um, share our video if you thought it was helpful. You know, pass it around the community because we're collectors and we'd love to help out fellow collectors. Exactly.